My name is Lauren Capate. I've been with Bill Trust for three years in the professional services department, and I work currently as a senior business analyst. And I'm Felicia Kane. I'm a senior project manager within the professional services department at Bill Trust, and I've been with Bill Trust for approximately six years. And today we're going to talk about ERP integrations. So some of the biggest challenges that we have working with ERP systems is the ability to get complete data necessary to build your billing documents. Also having the customer resources necessary to generate those those files as well as provide requirements around them and validation for them. Just to build on that, receiving timely and quality data from the customer ERP in order to meet their aggressive timelines is another challenge. Most likely the ERP vendor has a pretty concrete go live date that we need to align with and sometimes it's a struggle you know receiving data in order to meet that deadline. So there are several ERP systems that we work with frequently examples being Eclipse. These ERP systems use standard data files so we know what to expect a lot of times you know we, we have existing mapping that we can use for the implementations but part of the implementation will be to work through that with your project team. So another ERP that we work with is DDI. So DDI is the ERP for a large set of, of one of our supply company implementations. So with DDI, we have like one main resource that we work directly with. And what that does when you have like one main contact, it prevents us from recreating the wheel, right? So we're also able to create documentation to reference across multiple companies. Working with DDI is usually a breeze. They can address any challenges that we faced on the last implementation to prevent it from happening again on current implementations. So during your Build Trust implementation, we're gonna need data mapping or file requirements. So we need to know what type of data we're gonna get. We need samples of your PDFs to cover all of your different billing scenarios. And if you're doing payments, we'll also need some payment file requirements in terms of what we're gonna deliver back to your ERP system. Some of the challenges customers have when they're going through an ERP migration or an ERP upgrade is really just around the change that that migration or upgrade brings. So a lot of times the data that we've received previously is going to be different with the new ERP system. A lot of times, you know, there can be changes to the underlying data and how it's being stored. Good example of this is account numbers. So when you migrate to a new ERP system, occasionally that brings change to the sequencing of your account numbers, in which case we have to do some extra work to make sure that we convert those account numbers over for your customer base. So really, it's just around changing of data, but we're here to work with you to understand what those changes are and make the updates necessary so that it does not impact what we've built with your customer. So the the best time to notify Bill Trust about an ERP go live date is as soon as possible, right? So as soon as you know you're either moving to a new ERP or upgrading your existing ERP, reach out to your Bill Trust account manager. The more time allows us to align resources internally and determine you know, the feasibility of your go live date or your conversion date. With ERP conversions or even updates, they involve multiple Bill Trust departments. It might require us to shift resources or prioritize other projects. The benefit to working with professional services is that we have the knowledge and experience to help you through your implementation. We're going to walk you through what's necessary from start to finish. We're going to analyze your data. We're going to look at your billing documents and we're going to help gather requirements around the solution that we need to build specific to your business needs. We're going to take our experience and our knowledge from working with similar customers in the past and apply that as much as possible to your implementation to make it as successful as it can be. The professional services project team will also assist with communicating timeline and managing your deliverables to ensure projects are completed on budget as well as on time. The best way to engage uh, professional services is through your sales representative or account manager. So all projects handled within professional services require a scope of work to determine the scope and resources needed for every project. Customers can help streamline their Build Trust implementation process a few different ways. One is providing Build Trust uh, file in one of our standard file formats. We can share these file formats with you and your ERP system. And this often removes some of the requirements and information gathering out of the equation if we know the file format 
that we are to expect. Also, if you're doing an ERP migration or upgrade, just maintaining the file format that you currently provide to Build Trust is another way to streamline the process. Sometimes that's not possible, but if it is, just providing us your data in the existing format is best. And lastly, if that can't happen, you can provide us a mapping document or what we refer to as a data dictionary. This really just gives us information about what's within your file. It tells us what the different data elements are and helps us to sort of build and create requirements and logic around that data. There are many challenges working through ERP conversions. However, working with the professional services department, we're extremely experienced with handling ERP conversions, whether you're it's a new conversion or updating. We're excited to work with you on your next upcoming ERP conversion. We hope this information was helpful. We look forward to working with you. You'll be in good hands with professional services.